We are 100 days out from the Women's World Cup and the biggest storyline for Canada right now is the ongoing battle between the players and its governing body. The governing body just isn't bringing enough funding in and providing enough resources for the team right now and it's affecting the team as a whole. They haven't been able to bring in the same amount of players into camps. They've had to reduce staff. It's affected the expenditure, so travel and hotel costs among other things and the players have gone to social media and gone public to say that this is an issue. They want equality. They want to be treated the same as the men's team and rightly so. They've had so much success. They have some of the top players in the world. They won the gold in the past Olympics. So on uh, early February, Christine Sinclair, uh, Canada's leading goal scorer, said they were being forced to work, so they had to compete in the She Believes Cup, but the battle wasn't over. So they were all wearing actually purple shirts, as you probably could have seen, uh, saying enough is enough, um, just to demonstrate their protest with the governing body.